So check out the little babies. They're called wigglers now. You can see their little eyes forming, their stomach. They're still clear. You can see their tails, but they can't swim yet. They should be able to swim within another day. Well, my second pair of angelfish have decided to bless me today with another batch of eggs, which will be eaten very quickly if I don't pull them out. I really, I had ordered uh, some, uh, a hang-on breeder box, which was supposed to come yesterday, but Amazon shipped it U.S. mail, so it didn't make it and now has been rescheduled for tomorrow. So I just ran out and bought a one-gallon tank so that hopefully I can save these eggs uh, because without the, the new breeder box, I can't take the um, wigglers out of the other container um, until that box comes, which is now tomorrow. So I'll move this, set this up, and we'll see how it looks. This is a one gallon tank that can be purchased from Pitco. I just pulled a little less than a gallon of water out of the tank and cut the two leaves that are covered with eggs. And uh, they're floating in this tank. I'll get this set up a little better with a bubbler. It's gonna need some chemicals for antifungal. And I'm gonna have to put some replacement plants in here so my fish don't panic. I'm running around a lot right now to try to save these eggs. This is a $24 one gallon aquarium from um, PetSmart. And uh, I've pulled two of my lava rocks out of the backyard, cut off the two leaves that have the eggs on them and put them down here. So we know today is the 21st. March 21st, these eggs were laid about 3 p.m. today. They're in the bottom here. Now to save them, to make them hatch, we need a few things. The eggs are gonna have to be kept warm. So, $14, pet smart. A heater for up to a five gallon tank will stick on the side. Walmart, nine bucks, gonna have to have an air stone. Um, the $24 tank has a light. We'll hook that up, but we also have to add some drops of methylene blue. Um, apparently, and no one's very specific on how much of this you have to put in, but this will stop the eggs from getting fungus and spreading fungus from egg to egg. They say a few drops to a gallon of water. So, if they wanted two drops, it would be a couple. I'm going to say a few drops is three. I'm going to put three drops of this. It will turn the water blue. Then we'll put the aerator stone in, the heater in, cover it, and start counting the days and see if these eggs hatch. And we have swimmers. These fish are swimming around only three or four but they're gonna have to eat real soon tomorrow morning these guys will have to get fed i'm sure hoping the side trap comes in tomorrow by the end of the day tomorrow i would hope to switch switch these guys over to a different tank but this is very cool you do end up buying all different size eyedroppers when you start a project like this Three drops of methylene blue now. That's what three drops of methylene blue looks like before you mix it. So here's our incubator. And another reason to really call this an amateur channel and amateur fish keeping because anybody with any experience, I think, would have just said, they're going to lay eggs every three weeks. Just let them eat them. But... I decided to try to save these also while I still haven't even started feeding the first batch, which is hatching. Well, let's see what happens. I just turned off the pump on this brine shrimp incubator, and there are millions of live brine shrimp in here. I've turned a light on them, which is supposed to make them collect, be drawn to the light. 
so I can uh, pull them out. They have a couple little capsule things. I can put some in and put them in the fridge. I'm going to put a few in the uh, tank with the with the regulars because there are six or seven fish swimming around now frantically looking for food. So we'll stick some in there. We'll stick the rest of these guys in a... Uh, they gave us little capsules. These things here that will hold them. And I'll put them in the refrigerator and they should last until tomorrow and the next day and then they'll be dead. But by then um, I can hatch another batch. Uh, here you can see all the egg shells went to the top. All the live shrimp are here. They're all live and running around. So we're going to pull them and start the feeding process. And we're going to very carefully watch this tank. And if we look in here, there's fish swimming around. Somewhere. Oh, they're out of focus. But yeah, there's fish, there's fish actually swimming around. And uh, they were up at the top here attacking bubbles, trying to eat them. So I'm thinking there they are. They're like little tadpoles. So we're going to put a little food in here. And uh, just a little bit in case these guys are that starving. I think they're supposed to be able to live off their egg sacs now for another day or two but who knows some of them may have come very early um, but looks like we're having success and I guess I'll have a bunch more tomorrow looking at all these guys live in this um, Tube. I'm trying to hold the light down to attract the, the shrimp from the top so I can get, because this is salt water and I don't want to spray all the salt water into the uh, tank. Boy, I just realized this is not a channel for vegetarians. It's now um, 18 hours since these, leg, these eggs were laid and we can see clearly see the unfertilized ones are already all white it looks like the bulk of them are fertilized so we will see what happens